Hi, this is Debbie Olson. I'm here today sharing the March 2019 Club La La Land Crafts Kit. This one has a baking theme. With these kits, you get either a stamp set or a die set, or you can get both. Let's look at the stamps first. You'll notice I haven't cut mine out yet. I'm actually just opening these. I used a digital image because I needed to get ahead a little bit before my stamps got here. All right, with the stamp part, you'll see that there are two different stamp sets printed on nice thick rubber with the cushioning so that you can attach those to acrylic blocks. This is Love to Bake Marcy. She has two sentiments with her. One is Baker's Gonna Bake, and the second is You Are a Cupcake in a World Full of Muffins. Here's the card that I made with Love to Bake Marcy. I used a hamster on it as well. I'll show you those though in just a little bit. There you can see the sentiments just a little bit better. So one of them works well to put on a banner. The other one is more of a main sentiment. And here is the baking hamster set with three of the little hamsters. One eating his cake with a spoon, one with a whisk, and one with a cupcake. Its sentiments include a cupcake, uh, which would go with happiness is. You also have happiness is a piece of cake. So happiness is is separate so that you can use that on several things. You've got eat more cake. You've got hay cupcake. And then one that I used a couple of times already is whipped up just for you. Okay, you'll see the rubber there with the cushioning. Now when I cut these out, I like to use my Tim Holtz scissors. It cuts through that thick rubber really well. Actually, if you have any scissors with a very large handle versus a shorter blade, and then preferably um, something maybe with a serrated edge too, I find that that helps as well. You can do it without a serrated edge, but that helps. Those are my favorite scissors for cutting stamps with. And then after I cut them out, I'll just mount them on that piece of paper so that I can keep up with everything. Here are the dies. Remember I mentioned that you could get stamp set or die set or both. Now I love that little mixer because it reminds me of my first KitchenAid. My dad took me shopping for a necklace when I was in grad school. And I said, you know, I don't really need a necklace. I really need a mixer. And he said, well, let's go get a good mixer. So we got a KitchenAid and I still have it now like almost 30 years later. And this one reminds me of my KitchenAid, except mine was boring old white. This one can be any color you want it to be. You see that I have put those um, silver parts on there. On this one, I used just a silver metallic pen to do that with. I tried it with embossing powder and it worked, but it was really fiddly to do. With a silver paint pen, easy peasy. So that would be the way I would suggest for you to do it if you want some metallic accents there. Now the little cupcake is really cute in that it can be cupcake or a muffin. Okay, as soon as I move my hand, ugh, I never can get it straight on there when I have my hand in the way. Okay, so you can see that the cupcake would be putting the frosting on the outside, or if you tuck that frosting on the inside, then you have a muffin. It has those nice little stitched edges so that it looks like a cupcake paper that's fluted. And then finally, your strawberries go with that cake die. I didn't put strawberries on top of this cake because I cut from a rose patterned paper, but you can see how the strawberries would go nicely on the cake. Uh, the two-tiered cake and then the, the toppings that you could put on those. Next, I'd like to explain how the kit subscription works. There are actually three different kits that you could get. You could get just both sets of stamps. That would be $19.99. You could get only the dies. That would be $29.99. Or you could get the entire product kit, which would be both sets of stamps and all of the dies. That one is $39.99. Its retail value is almost $71, though. So that is really your most cost effective if you can swing that. All of those things go together really well. So if you're a baker, you might be able to use all of those things together. Also, there are exclusive project tutorials from the design team, and you would receive a link to that as a club member. Every one of us did at least one card that we did a PDF tutorial of that has everything listed step-by-step -step how to make that. So that is just kind of a bonus that you get in there along with the kit. 
If you join the club fan group on Facebook, you can also get some great inspiration there. Let's take a look at a couple of the cards that I've made for this release so far. First is one with a baking hamster set. I used that little mixing bowl die as well. On this one I had used the silver embossing powder, but really just using silver paint pen is quite a bit easier. Um, also for papers, I have used some Cartabella papers. I used digital papers. I had a set here called Homemade with Love. It's by Karina Gardner for Cartabella, only the scale was too large for what I wanted. So I found digital papers and printed those out at 50%, which made them like six inch by six inch pages printed out on the color laser copier. So I live actually two hours from the nearest scrapbooking store. So sometimes digital papers work a little better for me than other things. If you will Google um, hamster images, you will find some of the cutest expressions and ideas for coloring those. I have a Copic color map on my blog, which I'll link below for both of these cards actually and in it I have a close-up picture of the colored image paired with exactly what Copic markers I used where you know for instance you know what I've used on his nose or his ears or on the fur or something like that or or what I've used in the background so the easiest thing to do would be to grab that off of my blog probably and print it out and here's a love to bake Marcy card along with baking hamsters. I use that little mixer die again. Yes, I do love that one. And the whipped up just for you sentiment, which is from the baking hamster set. I just hand trimmed that so that it would exactly fit over that part of the mixer. My only other option was to put it up toward the top and I thought I'd put it a little bit lower and keep it on the mixer there. I added texture to her dress with Copic Colorless Blender on a piece of denim. If you do that, make sure that you do the apron part first. Actually, the apron I added it to, not the dress. Otherwise, you will texturize her legs and anything else that that piece of denim happens to touch. So make sure you do that first if you try adding texture with your Copic markers. I will have a video of coloring Marcy's skin and hair that will go up on April 9th. It's a little bit different from this one. The dress and apron are not colored on it, just the skin and hair because I paper pieced it, but it has all the essentials there. Again, on April 9th, I will have a video tutorial come out of coloring Marcy's skin and hair, along with two more cards made with this kit. So those would be the two projects that I have out right now for the March 2019 Club La La Land craft kit. Again, April 9th, more to come. And if you will look below at my blog address, you'll be able to see a direct link to this post that has my Copic color maps for both cards, as well as everything else you'd need to know about these cards. Have a great day and thanks for visiting me.